as Patty Samra mentioned, uh, we have a strategic workforce planning process here at Bay State Health. Every three years we go out, we survey our leaders, we, we, we do a, an intensive study in terms of where there may be gaps in our workforce. And we really try to come up with a plan that looks to align Bay State Health's workforce with its given uh, talent. Uh, to make sure that we have adequate pipeline and then pipeline strategies, um, both on training and sourcing and recruiting to make sure that we have an adequate workforce to fill those particular roles. So what are some of the particular roles? Well, for this latest iteration of our strategic workforce plan, we've identified 23. They include things such as medical assistants out in the medical practices, patient care technicians that work as nurses aides and support the inpatient nursing um, uh, initiatives, uh, there's also behavioral resource technicians, there's pharmacy technicians, the list goes on and on. Um, we're also taking a look at some of the two-year, um, what I would call the allied health roles as well. So respiratory therapists uh, were in big demand during the pandemic, and we've since seen a shortage now as we go through and continue. Um, also surgical technicians would be some of the other roles. When we talk and take a look at how we train some of those, we've really had to start to be somewhat creative. So I'll give you an example. Bay State Health has recently partnered with a local community college. It happens to be Holyoke Community College for a pay to train model with our medical assistants. We've hired Holyoke Community College to come in and run their training program that typically takes two college semesters to complete. So a full, almost a full year. Um, and they're able to, within 20 to 24 weeks, deliver a program to Bay State Health employees that have been recruited both outside the community, so outside in, and then inside up from our environmental food services and sort of from what I would call our first, uh, first community members and frontline uh, direct workers uh, to be trained as medical assistants. They're paid to train in the classroom. They very shortly thereafter, after a 16 to 20 week period, get, uh, get to start working in uh, our medical practices. And then they convert to a full medical assistant once they're certified in training. Also along the way, because we've partnered with our, our community college, they'll be receiving 26 credit college credits for, for their efforts in just 20 to 24 weeks. So it's a really great learn to earn initiative. We also have a very similar on the inside up pathway uh, training program with pharmacy technicians that we've worked with our community colleges on. Uh, this program is a little bit different in the fact that the employees for the most part um, do the studying in what's called an asynchronous fashion. They'll do the work after, uh, after hours online sort of at their own pace. And then they come together with the labs to learn. And this was a partnership with Western New England University and Holyoke Community College to really train them to, on the advanced sterile compounding uh, competencies that pharmacy technicians learn. So that's just a couple of the ways that we're really looking to, to, to take those gaps that are identified in the strategic plan and build pipeline strategies to train uh, future workforce, bringing folks outside the community into our walls and then the folks that are in our walls up to higher paying roles that have an impact for the future. So in addition to some of those training programs that I've already mentioned, um, we're also looking at the two-year allied health uh, training programs. And so, for example, one of the programs that Bay State Health is looking to develop is how do we train our employees to become surgical technicians? This is a, a, an occupation that typically requires a two-year associate uh, degree. Um, we're starting some conversations with a local community college about how do we front load some of the costs for that education. And it's our intention to really look internally um, both from environmental services, food services, but also perhaps from some of our uh, entry-level direct patient care roles, such as patient care technicians and medical assistants, and certainly our sterile processing technicians that are already working in the surgical services areas.